Most people know that Facebook ads run on an algorithm, but very few people know how it works. We're gonna fix that. By the end of the video today, you're gonna know everything you need to know so that you can begin to spend with confidence and scale your success. So the first thing we have to cover is the fact that Facebook is a machine learning platform. It's artificial intelligence, it's AI. So we have to remember that we are teaching it with every penny that we spend. Just like anytime you run a real store and your employees interact with the customer, they get an opportunity to get better at their job. Every impression that Facebook serves with our ads to their users is an opportunity for Facebook to get better at ultimately meeting our shared business objectives. Remember, Facebook is a machine learning algorithm. What are we teaching it? Second thing we need to know is that certain ads perform better than others. That's a fact. I have some ads I've been running for years and they still print money. Let me explain how. First thing we need to understand is that our Facebook ads are probably driving people off the Facebook platform. They're going to our landing page and that's totally fine. What we need to understand and appreciate is that Facebook cares about that person's experience after they leave and how that impacts their desire to come back. And also, Facebook is measuring compliance with their terms and services up to three clicks after somebody lands on your web page. So maybe your landing page is totally compliant, but somewhere else somebody can go and two clicks completely isn't. If that's the case, your ad account is going to get banned immediately. Next, Targeting specific audiences is an absolute no-go. This is detailed targeting, behaviors, interest groups, lookalikes, etc. And here's why. Our Facebook ads are making their own audiences. When Facebook delivers our ads to a user, what they're trying to do is improve that user's experience on Facebook. It's not random distribution within an audience that we pick. It's extraordinarily well qualified and the delivery that we earn is based on the merit of the user's overall experience. Now why this really matters is because our ads, if we don't use detailed targeting and interest groups and lookalikes, etc., have the ability to be shown to the best possible people regardless of where they are on the internet and in their customer journey and how Facebook has defined them inside of certain audiences. When we use targeting audiences, what we are doing is paying extra to exclude the vast majority of people that want to see our content because some other data says that we're only wanting to focus on these other individuals, whether that's an interest group, meaning that two thirds of those people have decided to talk about something. We don't know if they're in the buying market. We don't know if they actually feel positively about something. And yeah, it's two thirds because one third of those people are there by mistake because Facebook stopped writing code for interest groups back in 2018. It's ancient technology. You might as well be using dial up to access the internet. And maybe you're saying what I want to use is a lookalike audience, okay? You want to make a lookalike audience based off of what, a couple hundred, a couple thousand data points that Facebook has? Do we trust all that information? Especially after iOS 14? If you can't trust attribution and you're not really trusting Facebook's information and matching people because of privacy concerns, how good do you think that lookalike audience is? And remember, whether it's interest groups or lookalike audiences or behaviors or retargeting, Facebook is still only going to show that ad to the people that are most positively going to receive it. The problem is if you take a hundred million or 200 million person audience and you get it down to a couple hundred thousand or maybe a couple million, you've excluded 98% of the people that probably want to see it, which means you're going to spend way more money forcing your ad onto people that don't want to see your content, which means your CPMs are going to go up. And you might get some good initial results, but that audience is going to fatigue. And that ad is going to fatigue. When you target broad, age, gender, and location only, your ad set, your audience will never fatigue. And your ads can run for weeks, months, or years. And you can spend millions on them. I have hundreds of thousands on dozens of ads for months at a time or more is completely possible versus 
The ad dies in a couple of weeks and you have to start all over. Also, you need to be taking advantage of dynamic creatives. When you build individual ad after ad after ad, let's say you make 12 of them and you put them in an ad set and test it. Well, does every ad get a chance? No. Also, the ad that everything gets spent on is competing with all the other ads. And you're effectively just guessing what people may or may not want to see. And you're hoping that not only was your guess right, but that first initial 500 or 1,000 impressions were received positively. And you're hoping that the best ad out of that test is the one that got spent. That's a lot of hope and luck and guessing for you to be putting the future of your business on the back of it. Instead, when we use dynamic creatives, by hitting the dynamic creative option at the ad set level and giving Facebook a limited selection of validated elements, what I love to do is three creatives, two headlines, two primary texts called the 322 method. Facebook is assembling all of the data that every ad iteration that is in that available possible selection of ads and elements, and it's compounding the value. Instead of cannibalizing the performance, only the ads that do well are going to get the spend. So the vast majority of your spend only goes to the best ads, not the ones that were lucky enough to get a good reception early on, and not the ones that did so poorly, but they still spent because you wanted to test every idea. The point here is, instead of you guessing to hopefully get lucky that the ad that actually works gets spent, while you cannibalize any insight and any success you could get from any other ad, you're letting machine learning and artificial intelligence ultimately create the best relationship with you and Facebook to give the end Facebook user the best overall experience so you spend the vast majority of your money on the best performing ad of those available options. That's a far better investment with far less waste that produces ads that are substantially better and can last for months or years. So first off, I know you can be literally anywhere on the internet right now and you've chosen to be here and for that I want to say thank you. You're obviously loving this video, so go ahead and hit like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything else and that we can work together to make sure that you see all the success that you deserve. All right, with that being said, let's get back to it. And finally, certain industries and brands have ads that just work better for them. The honest truth is, if you were to start three different companies that all sold the exact same thing, you might have three different types of ads that are the best ad for each company. What's most important is that you figure out the most effective way to communicate with your potential customers to produce a relationship that inspires trust and ultimately gets them to want to come back and buy more than once from you. I've seen some brands that only do UGC and they crush. I also know a clothing business that relies purely on static images and they sell $150 million of leather goods a year. Well, last year they only did 75. They're doubling every year and they don't use a single video. I know some brands that exclusively use influencers. I know some brands that do a great mix of all sorts of things. Some love carousels. The point is, there's no such thing as a best ad. There's no such thing as a best kind of ad. What there is, is the best version of an ad that you can do that creates a relationship with the customer where they ultimately are most efficiently given trust in your business. Lean into what you do well to attract the attention of potential customers and monetize that attention. That's the secret hack, is that there is nothing that's best. You are very different than everybody else. So here's a quick summary of everything that we need to get to. Let's wrap it up. Number one, Facebook is a machine learning artificial intelligence. Let's be mindful of what we are teaching it. Number two, your ads never have to fatigue. I've spent millions on one ad and you can spend hundreds of thousands on a collection of ads. But if anybody ever tells you that your ad is gonna die after a couple of weeks or a couple of months, and to expect and accept that, they're dead wrong. Remember also, Facebook cares about the user experience after they leave Facebook because ultimately it's important to their business model to make people want to click on ads. And if your 
user experience after the click isn't good or violates Facebook's terms and services within three clicks, you might not be able to advertise on Facebook ever again. Also, remember, targeting audiences are obsolete technology. The ads make the audience. Don't pay extra to make sure that your ads won't get shown to the best people, regardless of the first few days that that audience might have, because we're gonna no longer accept the idea of ad or audience fatigue. We're going to build an empire based on high value assets that we can spend with confidence forever. That's the suit. Next, got to remember that we are not using targeting audiences anymore. That's ancient, obsolete technology. We're not trying to focus on short wins right now. We are targeting broad and letting our ads go find the best people. We are buying attention. If we cannot monetize that attention properly, that is our fault and we can improve it by making better ads. And when we want to make better ads, we have to use dynamic creatives. So we're making ads that are leveraged against the way that Facebook wants their users to experience the platform. We have to be mutually beneficial with our business partners. If our business model is to disrespect our business partners, we won't be doing business together for very long. And in this case, that means you won't advertise on Facebook and your competitors will get filthy rich off of your customer. And last thing, there's no such thing as the best ad. What works best is how you communicate with your customers. Maybe that means you're running images and videos and UGC and carousels. Maybe it means you're only doing one of them. The most important thing is figure out what you do well that allows you to earn the trust and the attention of your potential customers so that they become people that come back and buy from you over and over again. Now, I know you loved all this information, but if you want to work more closely with me, if you look down below, you're going to see a link so that you can sign up to get onto my calendar so that we can have one-on-one -on -one conversations, whether it's 15 minutes or an hour. Let's make sure that I can hold your hand to get you from where you are now to where you want to be and far beyond. If you want to invest even more in the growth of your skills and your business, check out Disruptor School. It's the second link down below. So you're going to get unlimited access to all of the eBooks and masterclasses in Disruptor School, plus three lessons a week and a private community. And one of those lessons is a live one with me every single week, where we're going to dive into solving the problems that the students have. And that might very well mean opening up your ad account and working together to get you the success that you deserve. And the last thing before we go, if you're ready to just pour a nuclear bomb on top of the backyard fire of your business and your future in this industry, check out the Facebook Ads MBA program. It's the last link down below. It's the mba.facebookdisruptor.com link down there. That is an inch wide, mile deep, and basically learning from me how to run your Facebook ad account and become a CMO. The biggest thing you're going to get here is what would it look like to hire me? And after three or four months, you don't need me anymore. And you get a lecture every single week with Q and A's every single week and an archive to all of those Q and A's so that we have a solution development engine to all of the problems that you have, that you've had, and the ones that you don't even know that you're going to face yet. Lifetime access to the lessons, to the courses, to the classes, and to our own premium community with other people exactly like you who are really good in a few things and everybody has the same thing that they're trying to learn. And that's what I'm there to help out with. So check out the Facebook Ads MBA program. There's literally no better investment you could make if you want to become elite at running Facebook ads and ultimately be the best CMO or brand builder out there. That's what it's all about. So that being said, once again, thank you very much. I know you can be literally anywhere on the internet and you've chosen to be here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. YouTube thinks you might like a couple of these videos. Smash the button, smash the bell. Until next time, I'll see you on the internet. Bye.